Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a tasty meal called Creamy Chicken Spaghetti Casserole. Now today's recipe is one that myself and Raymond enjoys making if we're expecting company or we just wanted to have a meal to take to a potluck. We got chicken thighs we're using in this recipe today. If it interests you and you like to know how to make it, stick around and let's get started. So I got eight pieces of chicken thighs and of course I like using the thighs, the dark meat, the marbling, having that little bit of fat onto it and I got it cut into little chunks. I mean they're not perfect chunks and I got the bone taken off. Right here, um, I bought it on a bargain and, and it had skin on so pretty much all you're going to do is pull off the skin. Just Put that to the side leaving on a little bit of that you could cut off a small amount of course and then flip it over because you want to see where the bone is and then you're going to cut it into little chunks and then pick it up and then we're going to pull off that bone so watching for your fingers getting around that bone taking it off now you're going to keep this because you want to make a chicken broth. So pretty much all you're going to do with all of these chunks of bones um, is put, again, put it into a boiler and some water, salt and pepper, and then that's it. Uh, you could put egg in, there, uh, egg in there, you could put onion in there if you want to to flavor it up. But we're going to need some chicken broth for this meal. So now that's all we need to do there. So right now I just got some water there just to sort of take those um, chicken bones if that's what you're using the chicken thighs of course this recipe you could use uh, chicken uh, breasts is another uh, chicken you could use in this. I'm going to put this on the stove top. I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to tell you what's next. Now I got my chicken put to the side. Now I already got some chicken broth. I always have extra because when I uh, cut up a chicken, we're making something out of it, I always keep the carcass and the bones and I make some chicken stock. And usually I'll leave it in the fridge for about a week and then I use it all week long in making something. So all I need here is about six cups of the chicken stock. I'm gonna strain it through this sift there because on the top it usually be a rim of fat from uh, from cooking that chicken and I don't want that right now because I got enough marbling already. So that's six cups of the chicken broth or stock. So pretty much that's the, the six cups of chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth or like you, if you don't have either of those and you're not using the chicken thighs to make a stock, just use water. That's all you need to do there. So pretty much what you do then is put your broth on a medium heat, get that boiling, a drizzle of olive oil in your frying pan, uh, about a tablespoon full of butter. Um, if you're not using broth that got salt in it already, uh, if you're using water, put about a half teaspoon full of salt in your water uh, because this is for your spaghetti. And right here, what we're doing, so let me grab a spatula, we're going to be adding in our chicken to this frying pan. And we're going to start it frying there. Um, just until it's uh, probably about five, maybe ten minutes, uh, tossing it about, and then we'll add in our onions and a few more ingredients. Topping it as well with a little bit of salt and pepper just to season it. Season because we're pretty much going to be seasoning everything right through each step, and that's all you need to do there. So as you see the chicken is starting to cook, just flip it in the pan. Now this recipe today is, is enough for four to six people, depending on your servings. And if you're serving it with other stuff like a salad, some garlic toast and such. Um, and like um, usually when uh, we make it, we try to add that in there. And of course, we're gonna let that cook for another few minutes 
and then I'm gonna add in the onion to this chicken. After five or so minutes, you see that your chicken thighs are starting to cook nice. And like I said, it's just part cooked, put in a small to a medium chopped onion. And this is optional. I'm using some uh, mushrooms here. Um, and uh, the, this is about four. And you could use a mushroom of choice, of course. I always would say, and if you don't want to use it, just leave it out altogether. And mix that in and let it cook for another five to 10 minutes. So now our chicken is cooking lovely and over here we got our, our pasta. So I'm using spaghetti, of course, we'll be doing a spaghetti casserole, vanita, mm -hmm. <laughs> duh. But you could use any type of uh, pasta you got if you need to use linguine or fettuccine if you haven't got spaghetti. Um, we're doing four serving, four to six servings. So um, I showed you in the past when I done a spaghetti casserole, this is a serving, or you can just put your finger like this to put the ring of pasta through. Or if you're like me, you're just gonna dump in a 16 ounce box and then call it a day. So this is almost hot enough there now for me to put my pasta in. Again, if it was water, put in about a half a teaspoon full of sea salt and a drizzle of olive oil. But because we're using chicken broth, um, I'm not gonna add anything to it. So I'm gonna lower the heat on my chicken and those mushrooms and onions and we'll get over there and put our spaghetti in. Pretty much when your chicken broth or vegetable broth is boiling, uh, add in your servings. And I'm going to be doing a serving for four, but like this meal is for four to six people. So we're going to let this start cooking for six to seven minutes. We don't need it fully cooked, just, well, they would say part cook or al dente. All right, so what we'll do now is let that go and I'll tell you what's next. See our spaghetti is just about ready there. Now, all of those juices from the chicken, whether you're using chicken thigh or chicken breast, pour it in there with the spaghetti because this is chicken uh, goodness and all of that is cooking with your spaghetti. So you're gonna have all that flavor there together. And then we're gonna be using that broth to make the creamy sauce. So I'm gonna take this to my counter and tell you what's next. So you need a nine by 13 casserole dish or a big pan, um, whatever one you want to, to use, I'm gonna say, but this is the size we're using here today. So you put your chicken air, in here first. Now I'm gonna reach for the spaghetti. So what we're going to do next, we're going to scoop up that pasta, all of that spaghetti, if it don't drain off, you can drain a little tiny uh, bit later, but you may not need to. Basically, all I'm doing here now, I'm going to be, you can pour this through a sieve if you want to, or just take it by scooping it like this, putting it into a bowl, and then after when you got it into a bowl, so it don't start to dry out on you, even though it's got all that chicken goodness, drizzle it with just a dash of olive oil, and now we're going to keep that to the side, back to our stove top, because we're going to make it that creamy sauce. So in the same pan we had our chicken in, because we still got all those bits there, we're going to put in two to three tablespoonfuls of butter, and then a drizzle, another drizzle, sorry about that, of olive oil. And we're going to let that melt there now, because now we're going to be making that tasty sauce. It's going to be a creamy sauce to go over our spaghetti, ch creamy chicken, creamy chicken spaghetti casserole. That's a tongue twister, Raymond. That is, definitely. <laughs> so add in there about half a teaspoonful of pepper. Hopefully, Raymond, you, you don't get your sneeze in here now. <laughs> the remainder of that sea salt, because we had a teaspoonful all in total, but we used a little amount to to um, season up the chicken. So the remainder put in there, so up to a teaspoonful. Teaspoonful of onion powder. I love using on the onion powder in pretty much all of my cooked meals there. It just brings out that flavor. Yeah, you get the good flavor of onion. Yeah, it's there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Three tablespoonfuls of all-purpose flour, or flour of choice, I should say. 
what you could use and let that start to cook into just a little paste. Now we're going to gradually add in about three cups of that chicken broth. So I'm going to reach for it and I'm going to toss in about a cup at a time and then I'll just let it start to thicken there like that. Ooh, steam is coming up over here. Oh, I know right and and that's what we want. We want it piping hot there now cooking to make that tasty creamy sauce. We're also going to be putting in there a cup of evaporated milk, whole milk. If you don't have um, evaporated canned milk, you could use a cream or you could use a milk of choice. And hopefully maybe all milk or probably even um, 2% if um, you got it. And we're going to be also putting in there one clove of garlic pressed or you could put in equal to probably one teaspoonful of uh, powdered garlic powder. That's all you need to do there. So when you see your sauce is nice and creamy like this, if you want to add a little bit more broth, a little bit more milk, if you're making a bigger batch of this casserole, you can. And at this point, just give it a little taste. See if you want to add anything else to it. Some more garlic, some more salt, some more pepper. That's entirely up to you. Now, I'm going to show you what to do next to put all this together. So now what you're going to do to all this spaghetti there, we're going to add this tasty creamy sauce. Just pour it all in there. I'm just going to get my spatula. I need extra hands over here, Raymond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have to call on you, I'm sure. I'll help clean up that frying pan. I'm whatever. thinking you... <laughs> you know you would. <laughs> and that's it. All you need to do there. So now we're going to toss that together. You know, it's probably a better way to do it, but just uh, lightly toss that sauce in through the spaghetti. So now we're going to toss the spaghetti in with the chicken. I'll get all that goodness there in a minute. Or, uh, as Raymond said, he'll get all that goodness. <laughs> we're going to toss this together. Of course, we got to try to get all that chicken now in with the spaghetti. And we're going to toss in there um, bell pepper cut up. I'm using a green one. Some tomato, I have full tomato. I'm leaving a little bit for a garnish there now. And I'll show you that now after we get it all tossed together. Mm -hmm. so I got, I got uh, my spoon ready to help clean out the uh, Have you? Yeah. I'm going to give yeah. you this piece of chicken here, Raymond. Just, just so that you could... One second. No, just take it off the spoon. There you go. Oh. Yes, it's your fingers, it's your mouth. <laughs> and... Mm. I'm sure you don't need a spoon for that. Hey. No. <laughs> now that's tossed oh, together. That's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll show you what to do next. Now I'm oh that we're making you hungry here today to make this. Because after you make this casserole dish, you're going to say, okay, now this is it. We're having this at least once a week so good so I'm tossing over here shredded cheese now you use the shredded cheese that you and your family loves eating because that's what it's about I got a half a cup here of Parmesan cheese sprinkle some over the top and then of course we'll leave some for our servings and we'll take a little bit of that green pepper that we that we so well I'm just gonna put it all over um, and the same thing with the tomato to pop it over the top with a few pieces of green onion. Now I'm going to tell you how long to bake this for. So we're going to be putting this in a 350 degree uh, preheated oven um, and that's Fahrenheit um, and we're going to be putting it in there covered first. I have a piece of foil wrap and what I'm going to do is just drizzle a, just a smidgen of oil over one side so it don't stick to our cheese 
put it over the top in the oven for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes covered and then the same uncovered. So depending on you, what you would like it, if you want it a golden brown or if you just want it bubbling, that is fine. Then when it comes out, I'll show you what it looks like. We'll serve it with some more Parmesan and a um, piece of garlic toast and you can serve it again, like I said, with a, a nice salad. Now, I'll show you what it's like when it comes out. Our creamy chicken spaghetti casserole is baked. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. So good. Now look at this. I can see you making this tonight for your suppers. It smells amazing in here. And of course, myself and Raymond <laughs> got all we can do <laughs> for not just yeah. digging right in with a fork each, you know, and, yeah. and having yeah, some. Yeah, we leave the plates alone, yeah, just a fork each. Just a fork each and just take it up. So now this is a serving for six. Again, four to six people. If you want to make a bigger batch, you can do that as well. But I'm going to take up some here now and put in my plate. Yum. Mm. Now just look how delicious this looks. I know you're going to want this for your supper tonight. Top it with some more Parmesan. You could put some more green onion over the top. And oh my gosh, this is a feast. I know your family will love it and great for a potluck. So get there and make yourself some. I'm going to have a taste now, Raymond. Oh my gosh. Oh my goody. I can't wait. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my goody. The creaminess of the spaghetti and the chicken. Drop the fork, delicious. The flavor of everything going through there. This casserole, the creamy chicken casserole or spaghetti casserole, is one that your family is going to love and you're going to want to put this on your weekly uh, meal plan. I can't wait for you to make it. Two thumbs up by myself, Raymond. Gonna have some now. Oh, in a definitely two thumbs up. I can't wait to finish this meal. Also, a green, uh, um, a green onion. Just put it in some water. Just snip off what you want, um, and uh, just keep adding some fresh water to it. Also, we had put the chicken, um, the pieces or the bones, I should say, from the, th the chicken thighs, um, into some broth. And we cooked it down, just put it into a mason jar, put the lid on and let it come to room temperature before you seal it down. You don't need to pressure cook it or anything to, to seal it. All you need to do is just put the top on, let it come to room temperature, keep it in your fridge up to a week, using it for meals like this, using it for soup or making gravies you would love it and that's all you need to do with that that is definitely a good bunny that's tip time oh it is and and to me making your own made stock or broth you can't go wrong you definitely can't go wrong now i'm going to tell you how to get this recipe I'm going to post the recipe in under this video. It could say more or see more. Just hit that link and it'll drop down. I'll also share it on our website, www.bonitaskitchen.com. You can visit us on our Facebook page or again, send us a message at bonitakitchen at gmail.com. If you can't find it, I'd love to send it to you. Another good one, Bonita, is if they wanted to take a little picture, snapshot of what they're doing. Exactly. Send it to Bonita's Kitchen and we'll So if you make viewers. this meal and you want for me to see it, just take a picture of it and send it to that email address I provided. And each week, each month, I should say, we share a viewer's request, uh, or I should say a viewer's slideshow of their food pictures they've made from our um, our shows and uh, for everybody to see and they're absolutely beautiful and we thank all of you for doing that. So we're not going to take any more of your time. We know it's precious. If you need any more information about this meal or any of our meals that we've shared to date, like you said, send us a message. On behalf of myself, Raymond and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen and from our kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us and you have a wonderful day. I've lost my fork. Oh. I got another taste of that chicken. I, I was going to say, I didn't take your fork. Mm, no. I've got mine. Yum. So good. Always an open door. Bonita's kitchen.
kitchen to yours. The neatest kitchen. The neatest kitchen.